Today, we are going to talk about logic control of CSH and CSW models in Bitzer screw compressors. Bitzer screw compressor capacity, CSH and CSW models, is controlled by four solenoid valves. These solenoid valves provide 25%, 50%, 75% and the last one is 100% capacity of compressor. There are two approaches to control capacity, a step control and infinite control. In a step control method, capacity will be changed by the time of using solenoids. For example, any of required capacity could be obtained by solenoids. Notice that in a starting time of screw compressors, capacity should be 25%. So, with this capacity, bearing and compressor receive the lowest torque. So, compressor should not be run with high ampere, therefore running torque should be low, as it possible. In a step control, any step of controlling capacity could be achieved by energizing solenoid valves. You can see in this image that in S-step capacity control of Pitzer screw compressor, capacity is changeable by energizing any of these steps and the fourth valve. The fourth valve has a roll of 100% control that is continuously 10 seconds on and 10 seconds off also, in 100% of capacity, only solenoid number 4 or CR4 is 10 seconds on and 10 seconds off. We talked about infinite capacity. As before mentioned in other movies, infinite control of Bitzer screw compressor models CSH and CSW can be achieved by two different approaches. In the first one, capacity control will be achieved by two solenoid valves that are solenoid number 3 and number 4. The third solenoid controls 25% of capacity and the fourth solenoid controls capacity of 100%. So, in this method, solenoid number 3 or CR3 should be online in the starting. And for decreasing capacity, we can use solenoid number 4 or CR4 to increase capacity. In another way of infinite control, solenoids number 2 and 4 should be online. Solenoid number 2 is referred to 50% of capacity. So, by solenoid number 2, we will decrease capacity and by solenoid number 4, we will increase capacity. But you should pay attention to the solenoids in the infinite way that are not continuously on such a step control and should be energized by pulses. Now, we review information of capacity control by real parts of a CSH Pizzer screw compressor. This compressor has four solenoid valves, 25%, 50%, 75%, and the last one is 100%. Any of these solenoids are connected to cylinder of a sliding system by steel tubes. These four steel tubes are connected to different parts of cylinder. So, when the capacity is 100% or CR4 is going to be energized, oil will be injected to cylinder and piston moves along the cylinder by force of injected oil. So, piston rod shifts this force to a slider that can control capacity of compressor which will be discussed in another movie. Spring is another part of this collection. Force of spring causes capacity or piston come back to 25% position. 
without a spring capacity remains just only in one position that is 100 percent capacity so with understanding process of working especially in a screw compressor we can take a right decision to choose best logic control of a screw compressor